Hey, what up, what up? This is Chauncey Billups, and y'all listening to Three Point Conversion. Peace. Kind of attempting to embrace it in a tough environment like this. Uh, I mean, it honestly just kind of makes you better because you have to, you have to respond in a way, or have to. Um, well, for me at least, it makes me better. I like to uh, cherish that moment. I remember when Vince, Vince was my favorite player growing up, and um, and he got traded, or I forget the, all this talk about he getting traded to New Jersey. And I remember every time he touched the ball, he got booed. Um, I think he had a really good game playing against Toronto, you know. And I just, it just, it just makes you have to lock in and and be there for your teammates. You know, I had, my teammates were positive all night and talking to me, telling me to be aggressive all night. Obviously, some shots that went uh, went down that that helped, but um, that definitely that definitely fuels me during the game and just uh, keeps me in that mode, you know. So um, it, it's fun. I embrace that challenge. I embrace that moment. Um, I probably deserved the booze, so I'm not shying away from it. But it was a lot of fun to go out there and, and like I said, embrace the challenge and. and I uh, have that kind of game for my teammates. Jamal, I saw you run over and have a brief conversation with your dad at halftime. What, if anything, are you able to share about that conversation or just what the message was generally? Uh, I mean, every halftime that he's, atten- he's at the game, uh, yeah, I talk to him. Uh, we talk about different things. Sometimes it's just keep doing what I'm doing. Sometimes he's telling me, what are you doing? So um, obviously just having that, that real criticism um, in my ear is always helpful. So. Yeah, he was just telling me to be aggressive and and, and uh, keep putting it on because uh, we know that they're going to try to respond uh, in the second half. Jamal, what were these last three days like for you on the court and off the court? Uh, I'd say just really focus, you know, as a group. You know, we went to team dinner. We spent a lot of time together as, as a team. Um, I saw my dad, you know, last night. Just, just spent family time, so... Um, just focus, man. I think and not just me, but everybody was just focused and dialed in and understood the task at hand. And, um, you know, we still have a task to do. So it was nice to get a win today and in, in the, in the way we won. But like I said, we got to we got to bring that energy for, for next game, too. And we are going to play a lot better and and we got to play a lot better as well. Uh, Vince had 39 in his first game back. <laughs> oh, see, mm-hmm. see? Yeah. Um, in terms of your calf, how did these three days help you and did you physic? Did you know you felt better going into this game, or did you have to test it out and see that you were moving better? Uh, we had practice Thursday, um, more a live practice, so I got to test it out then. But this this was probably the best game I, I felt um, going into the game, and then I, <laughs> it tightened up at the end. So um, yeah, but it's good, man. I think at this point in the season, everybody's dealing with something. So I'm just glad I'm, I'm good enough to be out there and uh, and uh, do my job at a, at a high level. Jamal, congratulations, fantastic victory. It looked easy to us. Is it going to be just as easy in two days uh, to to beat them again? And second question, what do you say about Nikola getting the second MVP award? Third. 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 <laughs> it goes uh, by so fast. I, know, I forgot. Right? Um, yeah, with the Yoke, man, I mean, it's just amazing. He makes everybody around him better. Um, he just he plays the game at a pace, at his own pace. Um, and just enforces you to make mistakes and, and keeps you off guard and then keeps you honest. Um, and then he's got guys around him that are making shots and making the game, trying try to make the game easy for him as well. So um, he's just, I mean, he's been so, the biggest thing for me watching and being Denver my whole life is just how consistent he is and how great, uh, how, how much we depend on him to be great every night. And he does it um, with no complaints, just smiling on his face and, and uh, that's just his game. So, like I say, it's a blessing to be drafted into this, into this situation, into this organization, and um, be able to have this kind of career, um, hopefully for the rest of my career. But um, it's just a lot of fun because I know uh, basketball uh, is not as pure in, in some other uh, places as it is here. Um, I forget your first question, though. What about the MVP, the third? Yeah, that was, that was, a question. That was the answer. Second one was, uh, well, first... How are you going to repeat this? So oh, well, I, th- I think they're going to be super aggressive and, and um, more, more desperate than they were tonight. Um, but we, we, we expect that, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're a tough team. They, they got weapons all over the place. Um, so, yeah, man, I think I think that's what the playoffs is for. It's a lot of fun. Every, every team just throwing punches back and forth, and you got to make adjustments, and you got to bring the right energy every day. So it'll be fun, man. That's what the playoffs for. It's, supposed, it's not supposed to be easy. Jamal, was do you feel like this was the the best game 
the most complete game that you guys have played in the playoffs? Uh, I, uh, sure. I just think our our whole like our whole energy was right though. That's that's the main thing. We're gonna miss make shots. We're gonna turn it over. Uh, they're gonna score on us sometimes. But but I th I just think each timeout we came back to the timeout together, uh, locked in. Everybody that didn't play or was on the bench w was was. Uh, was talking and, and sharing their advice and everybody was listening with open ears so like I said it was a really good team effort everybody was just dialed in and um, like I said we're gonna have to do it Sunday. Mal coach was talking about how you guys simplified the offense coming into this game how did that come to fruition what did that feel like for you on the floor? Well the main focus is defense you know offense like I said we got to space and organize ourselves better and, and all that but for, for, for me it felt like we were we were playing defense at a high level and uh, we consistently did that even when we had a couple of breakdowns you know we got right back to it and um, guys were just on a string helping each other out so um, I think for me the offense is going to come and go um, as long as you're just not turning it over and getting good shots every time um, so I think offensively we play really good but I think we won the game with the defense. Jamal um, last year you guys didn't have any trail you didn't trail in any series that you guys played in and so it was pretty much a, a controlled ride to the finals. I think the last time you guys had like a two game deficit was in the bubble. Do you draw back on any of those experiences, even though it was a completely different time in your career and a different environment altogether to know that something like that is possible? I mean, for us, um, uh, the guys that have been here, you know, it, it, does, it just validates everything that we've done. Um, it's less about everybody else watching us. It's more about we can do it and we've done it multiple times. So, um, but we don't want to be in that position. You know, we want to come out fire. We want to come out aggressive. Uh, we want to be up. Um, we know that, like I said, they're going to come back and, and, and play hard. But um, yeah, for sure, I think I think the experience definitely helps uh, being in the situation. Jamal, Coach Malone said at some point before you boarded the plane, he asked you guys, "Do you believe? What is it about this group that made you believe and were confident you were going to respond this way?" I mean, like I said, we've done it before. Um, so it's all about going there with the right mindset and um, bringing the right energy uh, forth. So uh, we did a good job today. And for Sunday, we have to bring that same energy and that same kind of belief um, into the hostile environment. I thought the crowd was great tonight. Um, we did a good job of taking them out um, early. So um, that's something that's got to continue for us. Uh, Jamal, two things. But first, there can be a little bit of a, a mental element when a team is going to sit off you on the three-point arc. What does it kind of take from from Aaron to, to be able to handle that, probably knowing that there might be some of that um, in, in these games uh, and knock those big shots down? And then second, were you one of the people booing Vince? No, I wasn't booing Vince. Yeah. No, absolutely not. I was like, yeah, let's get him. Um, but uh, no, I think AG is just belief, man. You know, we this is we're professionals. We work on our game every single day. Um, you know, and if they're going to give him an open shot and he's making, I mean, shoot it, bro. Like, it's all, it's, it's, I'm, it's not, I'm not going to stop passing to him. And, and, and it's not like he's coming up and, sh and shooting at a, at a ridiculous rate, just pulling up. So, you know, when he's feeling it, yeah, for sure, hit, hit that guy. Um, and, and it forces the defense to react. And I just think he did a great job of just bringing him out, bringing him in, rebounding, then playing guard, just guarding for a couple possessions. So, um, he's, I mean, he does everything for us, um, and him and KCP, you know, they they both pick their spots really well, and and but but defensively, they uh, they're they're our primary uh, uh, energy energy guys that that get us going and get us all going. We'll take two more, right? Jamal, uh, coach mentioned playing with physicality, not just on the defensive end, but on the offensive end tonight. Just how important was it? getting screens from Joker and just generating at least just a little bit more separation in, in those initial on-ball actions? Um, uh, yeah, I think we did a good, good job screening. Um, just playing for each other, you know. Um, not fighting anything, you know, not rushing anything. I don't. I, I, we had a sad, we, were, we didn't turn the ball over for a really long time, I think. I, I might have been the first one. Um, but yeah, just 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 being more physical and and owning your spots was big. You know, I think they they do a really good job of pressing you. And then if I'm you know if, if I'm bringing the ball up, sometimes I'll stop at the half court just because he's so uptight. So I think just everybody just did a good job of just bringing everything lower and, and owning their spot. And and they do the same thing on offense. So um, like I said, it was just a back and forth, and we got the better of them today. Were you guys more settled down tonight? I mean, you you play with a great deal of patience. In, in, in allowing the game to sort of uh, 
you know, you did what you had to do offensively and defensively, but you were more patient. Would you say that was the case? I'll say we're more focused as well. You know, even if, you know, we got into a bad spot or, um, you know, low clock or whatever, we were able to not turn it over, get us into some sort of set that we're, or action that we're comfortable with and, and at least get a, a shot up. So I think just, our, you know, like you said, the patience um, and just reading the game, man, we did a of just settling down when we need to and, and controlling the game for a majority of it. Um, I think we can be a lot better, and uh, game four is going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, Jamal. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.